What's up, everybody? How you doing? It's Mike Watson, and we're doing a little show called The Good, The Bad, and The Nerdy. It's actually a special edition episode, uh, and I got a couple guests coming on here with us, and we are going to be talking, talking about video game stuff. Now, we're outside of a, our, 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 of a schedule here just because we got Brittany on the show, a.k.a. Midori Hannah, joining us. And she's in Korea, which they are on a completely different time zone uh, from the rest of us. And she's actually getting her stuff set up now so she can get in here with us. But I have somebody else on the show who is super awesome. They are just like the, the coolest person ever. They they kick it with FSK. They kick it with the good, bad, and the nerdy. They they are at comic book conventions with us. They watch the show and support us. Man, probably probably the biggest FSK fan uh, that we have in the business. We got Jen joining us today. As you can see, I'm representing. <laughs> yes, she is. You know, I got on the hot shot at. She's got on her <laughs> FSK hat. I wish I had the FSK shirt on too, but that's kind of in the laundry. Hey, hey, it, I wear it, it a lot. It means it's being <laughs> worn. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of small talk till till Midori can join us, and then we can get into our conversation because we will be talking about Destiny Two. Uh, they made some pretty cool and grand announcements that I think are interesting, and then we're gonna be our main topic, which will be PlayStation Five. But Jen has just recently come up on the Mortal Kombat Aftermath uh, DLC, and we were yeah. talking about our experiences with that. Well, so, uh, how are you liking it so far, Jen? I am absolutely loving it. Besides the what we were talking about earlier, the whole if you actually get the disc, you get two discs. One disc is to load the game. Mm -hmm. And then once that's done, then you put in the actual content disc. And then once you do that, you <laughs> have to literally wait for the loading disc copy to copy over to be able to play it. So it took me an hour and a half this morning to get it all set up. Dude, that that is about as bad as my experience. So I, I I'm under the impression that you actually bought the actual um, aftermath did. game. I did. I, I always buy the games. Okay. I, I I don't do the digitals because I like actually having the game itself. And I also like to trade it in at GameStop to be able to get another game. Mm, I see. I see. So in case you all don't know, um, Mortal Kombat Aftermath came out in three different versions. There is the people who whoever got Mortal Kombat prior to this, and then you could just buy the DLC for it. Um, then they had the full digital pack, and then they had the game that came with Aftermath that you can buy. Um Brittany's right there. I'm going to give her a couple seconds to get herself together. Um, so in my experience, I already got Mortal Kombat. I, I'm, I'm, I I'm, did too. I already I, have it, but I still wanted the actual game. Oh, absolutely. And so I we got it. Did We got the digital download for Aftermath to go on top of our Mortal Kombat. I buy it. All good. I get up to play it or you know see if it's there. It's not downloaded. Uh I'm, I, I have PlayStation Plus, so I have no idea why this is not downloaded. Uh, that's what the point of PlayStation Plus. Ex exactly. Absolutely. So I go, into, I go in to download it, and then um, it's, a, it's an hour and a half download. All right, fine, whatever. And then I go, then I get that, and then it's a four-hour download after that. I'm like, what the, what are we downloading? So then once that's done, come back to the game. Get ready to play it. Me and my wife, we sit down. We love playing the story mode because it's like a movie for us. Yes. And we take, and we take yes. turns. And then I can't play it because I have to find it. Like, I go to click the actual aftermath segment because it looks like our screen right now. It says uh, Mortal Kombat 11 Part 1 and then Aftermath Part 2. Just yes. like how our screens are up. So yes. I click on that and it says it's not available. What do you mean it's not available? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, oh, this is just a tease. Yeah. This is just to give you a little taste. L little just taste. A little yeah. taste. So apparently <laughs> you have to go into the main menu where the, the store is in the game and click and download everything then. So once I did that, it was a four-hour download. I'm like, what was the other download? No, not four. I was like hour and a half. I was like, what was the other download for if you were downloading for four freaking hours? 
It was just like what I had to go through because it downloaded, but then I had to go through and do the copy. Yeah, so it, it was a bunch of hassle. So Mortal Kombat, you need to fix that like immediately. That's dumb. Yes. And completely <laughs> yes. unnecessary. What's and up she's over here mind? laughing at us right this now. This is what I come into. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the antics here. All right, so... Uh, Jen, first time person, first time being on the show. Midori's been on the show plenty of times. She's one of our co stars on this show. Part of the very, very surprising. This is only my first time, Mike. I, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's blame me. It's oh, I do you're... blame you. <laughs> I do. All right. So, this is the video game edition of the Good Bad Nerdy. It looks like we got a decent amount of people tuned into us right now. I am watching the Facebook pages and the Twitter pages as we're currently going. All right. So, Destiny 2. Now, I'm very... Midori, did you play Destiny? I I did, yes. You did. All right, so maybe this will get you to start playing it again. Destiny is actually doing something that I've been saying that games need to do, and it, it's awesome. It's kind of like the World of Warcraft thing, where they have sold uh-huh. the base game of Destiny 2, which had all these expansions and whatnot, but instead of saying we're going to make another $65 Destiny 3 video game, mm-hmm. we're just going to add some enhancements to it. We're going to migrate a couple of things that aren't getting really played on Destiny 2 anymore and add mm-hmm. in a bunch of new features. And that technically will be Destiny 3. Huh. And, that, and this that's... Stuff, okay. And this stuff will be dropped over the next two years. So they already have three big expansions for it. So instead of saying, we're going to release Destiny 3 and then have you do all this stuff all over again, no, you're going to be able to keep your character's uh, progress where it is currently, and you're going to be able to add on to that. Yeah, but you you know where they got that from, right? Where did they get it from? Oh, <gasps> Sims. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Sims have been doing this for the past, what, four decades? Like, come on, you get, come, come on, just... <laughs> they should, should have been doing this. And I'm glad that a, a gaming company let that idea click in their head and are like, wow, we can actually make our audience happier this way. Because that's all that's all EA is doing with Sims. That's mm-hmm. why they have the Sims exactly. community. They have the, the polls where they let their community, you know, vote on what should they add next expansion or next game pack or stuff pack. And you got those variations where... If your community wants to pay for something, it's not going to break their arm and leg to do so. Where, like, these video games, you have these expansion packs that's another $50, $60. And you're like, well, shit, might as well pay another game for it. Like, so I'm I'm, I'm happy. I wish they would have done that with Destiny 1 because I was with Destiny 1. I was, I was one of those trolls that was scavenging for a freaking, oh, my God, what is it? Show me potato salad. Oh my god. I've never played Rocket Destiny, launcher. so I can't help you. Well, Jen, I think you need to jump on it. Um, Destiny, um, I'm not a big Destiny first really shooter game, but it's fun. It it's is. It's really good. And it's great. It's really accessible for people to just jump in and play. Okay. And that, that's probably like its best feature that it's super easy. Once you're they on, you can link up. It's kind of a lot like World of Warcraft. Yeah. but like, We all know I'm a huge World of Warcraft. <laughs> I, Major. That. I was ranked number two healer in all the US oh, for really? years and then I moved to Columbus and I stopped playing for a while oh. so now I'm back socially, <laughs> I'm back socially. I, I go back I, I play a little bit now Yeah, I had to stop playing World of Warcraft because after one summer of it I saw that it had taken over my life it all I did was yes. all I did was work and then I came home, and then like my roommate Phil, he had it too. So as soon as we got off work, he was in his yep. room on his computer, and I was in there, and we were out yep. there playing. I, I started as soon as I left Korea and went back to the states. Yeah, I yeah, I'm good. It's fun though. Don't get me wrong; it's absolutely fun, but <laughs> yeah, it's too much. So uh, I'm pretty excited. So the only thing that's been disappointing about the Destiny announcement is the damn trailer that they released for it. I've been okay, anticipation of the right. trailer. They were, they- they 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 do they do like a, they do one good one and then the next one's bad and then they do a good one and then the next one's bad so I, I, I you know, they're a hit or miss with their advertising. Like the, the trailer <laughs> though is everything. 
if you don't have a kick-ass trailer, you're not going to get the people to buy the game. Especially buy ones who have not played before. They're not going to go out and buy it if it's a shit trailer. Well, well I didn't know, I didn't know that was the pattern. Now, they don't, they don't rely on their trailers. Like, especially, and, then, and I will say that that game, that company, I feel like it's it's made a generational shift to where mm-hmm. it's more like word of mouth will get us far more so than than the trailer. Because you know uh, they can sh- you can show a good trailer, especially at like E three or any gaming conventions, and then find out this game was absolute shit. <laughs> like you right. know, so I guess I now many nowadays, games like that. Nowadays, more people are like, let's just make sure we shoot out all the information, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you know, articles upon articles, and just, I feel like they kind of are relying on that more so than the trailer. Right. Uh, shout out to Bobby Ford, Adam Coop, and Brian Anderson that are tuned in live right now watching us. Uh, oh, and they're... We got a couple on Twitch. I don't see your names right now, so I can't shout you out. Uh, If you guys have any questions or comments, please make comments here. We're watching our boards, and we will answer your questions and and get you involved in the conversation live as it's happening right now. Now, I didn't know that was the pattern, Midori, uh, with their trailers. Um, That kind of makes sense, but this trailer was still shitty of shitty trailers. It was basically... (laughs) A travel trailer. It, it, I felt like it was a car commercial trailer showing us their speeders and the ships. And then they got to the destination. And that was it. Like, I need to at least know, like, some type. I need some type of uh, conflict in the trailer. Like, I, you guys have done the whole, it's coming. You've done that. All right. We're, we're past that shit. We know something's going to keep coming. Give me something <laughs> to bite into. We know. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're, you're saying that, you know, a year of. Them saying it's coming. You don't know it's coming, Mike. No, I don't. I I know it is. I mean, hold up. This is uh Destiny 2's This is about to be like their sixth expansion that they're adding yeah. on. To. So some shit's always coming. Matter of fact, Destiny, you told me your last promo that there was four four big things coming <laughs> <laughs> in, in oh, each quarter of the year. Hard for believing them. <laughs> <laughs> they they got Sears and they see signs and stuff, but. Um, outside of Destiny doing that, I I honestly want more games to do things like this. I and it's gonna. I, I think that's come what back Battlefield, to Call of Duty. I think that's what they need. Is is free doing. needs this. Mm-hmm. And and now Destiny is actually free to play. Um, yeah. I think you still have to buy the expansions. I think I don't know, but it's but free to play right now, um, which is cool. But. I think people they are starting to adopt, and although I don't like it, Fortnite, I can't stand that damn game. I can still <laughs> give Fortnite its props for what it has done for the gaming industry, because those events that Fortnite does, they are oh fantastic. My God. I, I I hate the game, but I, I hate not, not that game. That game is oh my God. I hate it too. But man, when I say I was I was tuning into that concert, that concert was crazy. Oh my Lord Jesus. <laughs> Take my breath away. <laughs> oh, see, no, I, anything Fortnite, I will not click on. I will not look at. I no. Hey, I am. I am the same yeah, exact way. I get it. I get it. But these concert, like it, it, it started. Oh, it's. It, I can already tell this is going to be a. It's going to be a norm. Instead <laughs> yeah. of going to concerts, they're going to put concerts in a virtual setting, like Fortnite. <sighs> Look, I don't even like. What, I, I I can't even tell you who the artist name is because I completely forget. I can't, that. I can't um, even tell you. <laughs> but the fact that they turned this into an event and everyone got to be, everyone that was there got to participate and be in it while they were just kicking out this music. Um, like uh, Danny Cooper, the editor in chief of Freestyle Comics, him and his son, or him and his son play Fortnite. And they're always telling me about these yearly or quarterly events that Fortnite does, like when the comet came in and shattered. The um the the area the main place that they play and it was like a big hole in the middle of their it battle. Was, it was the introduction of their new new expansion. Yeah, and that was crazy. Or the fact that they actually shut Fortnite down for three days, didn't but tell anybody. Days, you know, people <laughs> sat there and they streamed that on Twitch, and you know how many freaking people sat and watched that dark void of a video while Fortnite was shut down. Over twenty three some thousand people. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah, ridiculous. So I hate 
Fortnite. I I I don't like the style of the game, and um, I I can't play it. But I, and I hate the microtransactions. This is one of the main reasons I I dislike it. But oh yeah, a business is a business, and what they have done is they've effectively shown and proven that you can keep the base game there and bring it over to consoles because World of Warcraft was always doing stuff like this. But now we can do it with console games and just add in a new thing we want we want to bring in and make it seasonal. And I'm hoping more games like that do it. Uh, and we're going to touch on this when we hit the PlayStation topic. But um, the Spider-Man game, the new Miles Morales game, it's not a full-blown PS5 game. It's, an, it's a remaster of Spider-Man 4. Yes. And when you have a game that, that's that good, I think you should just keep that and keep adding new content to it. Like your Spider-Man 5 should be that same game with just a $30 DLC download to update it. Yes, that. exactly. And that's how yeah. I feel about Assassin's Creed. Ooh, I have a huge yeah. Assassin's Creed. Ooh, I yeah. know. Man. I know. I'm and tired of Assassin's Creed. I, I swear, all you know, every couple of years, they just go to a whole new world and you have to start all over from scratch. Mm-hmm. And see, and that does get kind of annoying and frustrating. It does. When, when it is the same, you know, if it's the IP. same, If it's the same chain... Just update, like give me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just like what it was. Give me an origin. option. What time they zone even do you want to go to? What the buttons. Now and I that can, killed me. <clears throat> I can let Assassin's Creed slide, even though I've gotten tired of it. I can let it slide because of how much detail and how how wide their maps are, how accurate. Uh, the, the, the history is the world yes. is so I can give them a pass on that because they are literally remastering the past section of whatever world and country that they're exactly in. and they're they're bringing a a video game and actually teaching people history. Who would think that you would learn history through a video game? Assassin's uh, Creed did it. They did. They did. And that's awesome. I absolutely love them for that. But I need them to go somewhere else. I need them to go. Well, like, not, number even, one. not even go somewhere else, but like go ahead and add to some of the previous games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially the times of period, like the period of times, I'm sorry, that they have already covered. You There is plenty of other events and historical aspects that you can add to that. Exactly. Just with an update. Exactly. Like they started kind of doing that. Um, with the latest Assassin's Creed, like you get, um, you have Atlantis, you have, um, Mm -hmm. the underworld Mm -hmm. and everything. And they started to do that a little bit, but the little expansion that you get is not big enough. Mm -hmm. Like the expansion, I would beat it in a day. Mm. See, uh, like Witcher, Witcher Three, their expansions were incredibly. They're large. They're huge. I think uh, the the two expansions of Witcher were like mm-hmm. half the size of the original game of Witcher, Witcher Three or whatever. But that game took me a long time to beat. It was plenty of content. You know, I didn't even do everything in the game, and I had over a hundred hours into that game or whatnot. <laughs> it was incredible. But uh, we're gonna switch gears here. We're gonna we're gonna move on to our our main topic, which is this this thing that everyone is talking about online that became unveiled and revealed, the PlayStation 5 by this Sony. sexy, sexy-ass game <laughs> system. Take my money. Jen says, take my money. I say, I'm keeping my money. Midori, what do you say? Take that shit to the trash. What the hell? <laughs> what? Have you got, I mean, because it, it's so fun that 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 freaking design of a system, bro. People, these memes have given me life. Hey, the memes that they've done for Xbox though have been hilarious. That have you seen the one where they use the Xbox as a table? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's disrespectful, man. Oh that no, is that so that is my favorite meme. I'm sorry, yeah. I hate Xbox with a passion. Oh, oh, <laughs> I oh, hate God. it. I hate their controller. Yeah. I. What I really don't like about the PS5 is how they changed, they're changing the controller to be more like an Xbox controller. Mm-hmm. Because Hate everyone that. likes that big, funky controller. No. 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 no us us people brain. who have arthritis and rheumatoid arthritis <laughs> cannot use those. 
a, a PS4 oh. controller is perfect. Well, the design for the PlayStation controller literally really has not changed that much since PlayStation 1. It has been a very solid design. It, it um, has been, but they did make a huge change with it for the PS4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, 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 they got a lot of new stuff in there or whatever. I'm not I'm not knocking the tech aspects of it or whatever, but let's I, I guess let's kind of like let's get into it or whatnot. Uh so what what do we think of the design? Like let's let's, let's be forefront on that. It looks like a PC to me. I'm sorry, I'm like a, a PC, PC to me, so <laughs> Oh no. no. It looks like a PC to me. <laughs> uh Jan, how do you feel about it? Oh she's all right. Wait, wait what now. what PG level are we at? Oh, we're PG thirteen. Oh, <laughs> I mean, shoot. Well, oh, no, um, profanity is fine. Well, sexy. it is sexy AF, and okay. knees are quivering. Knees are quivering. <laughs> <laughs> knees are quivering. Okay. All right. Are, um, are you okay over there, Midori? You good? <laughs> <laughs> I think Ooh. I just killed her, Mike. I think no. you did. I, <laughs> did. I think the design is all right. I'm I don't dislike it. I don't hate it. Um I don't I'm not all the way in love with it. Uh but I mean we we say we said this last last uh cast though, like it's not needed. We we don't it's need not. it. We're we not don't need it yet. We because don't again, oh, yeah. You know, working working at GameStop, I've seen I've seen people, I've seen the comments, I've seen people and their and their money priorities, and and it, it's 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 shit. I, mean, I don't know how else to really put it, but yeah. like when you throw this new system and you're like, you're not even done. You're just now releasing a lot of stuff for the PS5 that you or the PS4 that you've been talking about for I don't know how long. We're, like what? What are you releasing on the PS5 that is a must? Yeah, exactly. That needs my four hundred, five hundred dollars yet again. I don't know. Because you just there released was... the Pro not too long ago. They did. They did. And they did. Uh, there's a one company was it in Japan that's already doing pre-orders and it's seven hundred dollars. Yeah. Let me oh. pre-order that at GameStop. I'll go in every couple of months throw some money down on it until it comes out, but oh. I do agree. It's not needed. The PS4 Pro just came out just recently. See, that's that's my thing, too. So, when we got PlayStation 3, uh, and that game closed out after its 10-year run, and it still went some time into the PS4 era, yep. or whatnot, with God of War 2, was it God of War 2? No, God of War 3, and The Last of Us, that was the that was the system being maxed out. They had learned every trick they could possibly learn on a PlayStation 3 to give us those two games, which were the titans of the PlayStation 3 era or whatnot. So my thing was, why would you stop there? Why wouldn't you give me 20, 25 more games on the same level mm -hmm. as God of War and Last of Us on the PlayStation 3 before mm -hmm. you moved on to the PS4? Mm -hmm. So now we're, we're just now getting on the cusp, and we're getting The Last of Us 2, which mm -hmm. looks ridiculous. It does. Ridiculous. I, mm -hmm. I am like very close to pre-ordering it right now. And you're telling me that you're going to come out with another system? And when I look at those, when I look at the what they showed for PS5 and what I'm seeing in The Last of Us 2 and, and Spider-Man 4, or the PlayStation 4 version, to me, I'm not seeing that much of a difference. Yeah, there I'm seeing is no some difference. Better. I'm seeing there some better. Better. But uh, Spider-Man, uh, Miles Morales' Spider-Man is a remaster of Spider-Man 4. The only game that really got me hyped, I, I'm corrected, I am hyped for Miles Morales. I'm pissed that it's only on PlayStation 5. That's that noise. <laughs> but Horizon. Into the oh, West, my, that oh my God. That looks fantastic. But that's one game. <laughs> that's, that's one game. What about Solar Ash? That, oh. No, I, I did not see anything else outside of Horizon and Spider-Man 
um, that really got me. I'm saying, oh, I got to do it. And it's because mm-hmm. it's the same formula. We're going to show you all these cool ass games that we have coming out yeah. and we're going to yeah. make it seem like these are the release games. Yeah. Then we're going to drop it and they're not the release games. Oh, yeah. no, they, they actually were putting on there when those when the games were releasing, when they were going through their live stream. Uh huh. So like Solar Ash, that was what, 2021 that was going to be coming out. Um, um, Resident be- Evil. That looked amazing. <laughs> that that's twenty twenty one. No, that one was twenty twenty two, I believe. Twenty twenty two. Yeah. See, but it, so, but the PlayStation Five is coming out this year, right? Yes. I'm that's, not doing. Oh it. my god! I'm I'm not doing. Doing. <sighs> yeah, they they need to push back the release date for PS Five. I know they have been. We're talking about the PS5 for a while now, and everyone's mm-hmm. been speculating and wanting to see stuff. But now, they need to push it out further. Give us another two to three years at least. I, I, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but to me, there, there's this, and I, I've just started, it's, and maybe because I'm a parent now, <laughs> and <laughs> I pay my own bills now and stuff, um, yeah. as an adult. <laughs> And I, I, I'm, I'm more of a penny pincher now that I'm really noticing like the schemes and the and the plans that mm-hmm. the video game companies are doing. So we get the PlayStation Four, then we get uh, a PlayStation Four that has a bigger hard drive. Then we get the PlayStation Four Slim. Then finally we get the PlayStation Pro, and now the Pro is mm-hmm. supposed to be the system that's the ultimate version of all the PS4s. Yes. No mm-hmm. bugs, no issues. We've mm-hmm. we've fixed every single thing. So we're what in the sixth, seventh year of PlayStation, and now we're just now getting the ultimate version of the system. Yep. Why not just wait until you have that ultimate version worked out, and just bring out that system? That, to me, that's what I think should happen. Oh, I but- completely agree. When PlayStation Four first came out, I didn't get it till probably a year or two after it first came out. I was still using my PS3 till that thing died. And I had the very first version of the PS3, the 40 gig. So did I. So did I. (laughs) That came to Korea with me. (laughs) Uh, Uh, Shout out to Jay, man. What's up, man? You're always tuning in with us. And shout out to Jason William. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce your name, man. Thanks for tuning in to us. I'm not going to do that to you. That's disrespectful. They they need to push it back. And I understand um what brian is saying they're getting pressured by xbox Uh because the xbox one x is coming out Mm -hmm. but you know what but they shouldn't though one (laughs) they shouldn't exactly they shouldn't shouldn't. and xbox one doesn't even compare to the ps4 pro so this is yeah i so let's talk about that for a second i i am i am i am a, a lucky individual where i have the Xbox One, I have a PS4, and mm-hmm. I have a Switch. I've always been a gamer my entire life, and I've always said for the best video game experience, if you can manage it, you should get all the systems. That's going to be yes. your best video game experience. Each game has its ups, and each game has its downs. There is there is no perfect system or whatnot. But in this recent video game war, and I, I'd like to hear what both of you have to say about it, I really feel like Xbox got his ass kicked by PlayStation 4. Like, it, it can't even, it's not even, like, a debate. It's not even close. Yeah, not yeah. even close whatsoever. As far as games, games, content, but they're all, yeah, like, not even, because not even, because most of, most of the exclusives, like, they only held on to maybe two or three that were predominantly theirs. They, then they, mm-hmm. gave, they gave most of theirs to Xbox or to Microsoft. Because I, I, I love Kingdom Hearts. Don't get me wrong. But I was kind of upset that it released on Xbox. What the? F- really? Mm-hmm. I was upset. But I'm like, I'm not even a diehard so- Sony type person. But I am about exclusivity. And damn, y'all just Tomb Raider. Get it. They did like, up a lot. But like, still. I don't, I don't think. And again, PC Master Race here. Like, <laughs> I don't think. The only reason why I say that I don't think they should feel pressured by the Xbox X system or whatever is because at the end of the day, that's just Microsoft's power move to try and cater to both of their audiences of computer users and console users. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sony could have done something completely different 
but uh, instead they've been i guess gatekeeping a lot of ideas that that they shouldn't have like there should no there there should not be a reason why we're in 2020 and they're they're not cross platforming most of these games yes yeah that makes and sense and most of the time it was because sony would not they would not sign that deal they wouldn't sign that paper like yo maybe this is a good idea which again it's it, it's not going to hurt your numbers if anything it should help your numbers cuz people then will be like oh it don't matter if i got my ps3 i or I ps4 i can still play with exactly. somebody on a pc or computer call of duty should not have been the first game to did this mm. just saying my exactly warfare. i i completely agree i remember being in korea having my ps3 i would go out to the ville and they literally i literally had them um do their little <laughs> hack to yeah. make it cross platform so that way i can still play my ps2 games my ps1 games mm. so now did you say that jen uh what, what are your feelings what are you both of your feelings on you know people asking and they ask us every <laughs> every time the system comes out is the playstation going to be able to play my ps1 ps2 ps3 and no. ps4 games you're not, bro. You're not going back no. to play the PlayStation One game. All right? No, that's no. why the PS4, that's what remastered. PS4 didn't come with that. It, it it costs it costs money to add that part into their it console. Does. But that's yeah. also why they do the remastered games, so that way you can still play those games, but on the current system. I I just don't I don't think it's necessary. I mean, I still have my PlayStation Two games. I still have my PlayStation One games. Games I'm never going to trade in just because they were just so great. Yes. But, I'm not going back to play them. I'm really not. I'm I'm not that person. I'm not, I I can't. You're not, you're not a nostalgic fan. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> oh wow. What? 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 Those what? Toes don't like you either, sir. Hey, hey, forget that damn toad. <laughs> Looks like a string bean anyway. See, uh, I like going on, back to be going. able to play older games. I am really looking forward to the cross platform because yeah. I have. An entire entertainment center that's full of PS4 games right now. now I, will, I would like to keep playing those. Oh well, I am going to keep playing those because PS5 ain't seeing none of my money. It's it's just not. Oh, it's it'll, not happening for me. It'll see my money, but I'm still going to have my PS4 just in case if anything was to happen with the PS5 and actually turns to crap. Well, see, and that's also see that's the thing though. When this system comes out, there are going to be systems that have bugs in them. Yeah. There's going to be systems. I'm like, that I'll give it. I'll give it five years. I give it five yeah. years before I even think about putting money towards that damn system. See, Ooh, that's, I can't do that. See, but that's the thing that's going. That's you a, have to get. You have to. <laughs> that's the you thing that's going. That's the thing that's going to aggravate me because I I absolutely love and adore Spider Man. I have twenty six of them. Swinging well, apparently, around. PS Five is working towards oh, doing yeah. it. Back you, yeah, you and your mm-hmm. Spider Man's in that room. You, yeah, when you go yeah. in there, Midori, you literally have to duck and dive. And dodge. <laughs> <That's a dork. laughs> you have to do I'm the five like... D's of dodgeball in that room <laughs> because of his Spider-Man. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I really love him. And I, I want to play that Spider-Man game. Horizon, I, I feel like I should not have, like, if a game came out three years ago on a system, the sequel needs to come out on that same system. How dare you hold hold hostage Horizon Zero Dawn and Spider-Man 4 for PlayStation 5? That is utterly ridiculous. But that's that's my, you, can, that, that, you can come that's over to my house and play it. Their system. They, need a, <laughs> they need to beat you. Yeah, come on, I'm, you almost got it. That dollar, come on. <laughs> come on. No, you know I'm, what's going to happen is I'm going to get it and I'm going to get the games and you know who's going to be knocking on my door as soon as I get home with those games? I'm Mike protesting. Watson. I'm protesting. PS4 oh. Lives Matter. Ooh. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. The blasphemy you just did. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Do you want me to drive over there and smack him for you? Please. And thank you. He's only 10 can. minutes down the street. I, I'm only not there. Minutes. I got four more months. I'm, I'm going to come. It's going hit. <laughs> God damn it! Hey, he has the wall of Nerf guns. You can do. You can use those on him too. I will take my pick too. My yeah, twin pistols, you know. Yeah, got him. Got him up there. I'm gonna get him. <laughs> so, 
I mean, they announced a lot of stuff. They showed a lot of games. There was, but and then here's the other, here's the other question. So this is something that was always asked when Xbox One and PS4 came out. Did you guys, did you really see any games that besides the graphics that would potentially seem like, all right, this is a next gen game? Because when PS4 came out, it still took two or three years before we really saw a game that we felt like gameplay wise and graphic wise we said oh now that's a next gen game no because they fo- they've been fo- that's yeah. all they that at least to me they it seems like they've just been focusing a lot on graphics and i hate that because being a person who worked in a you know game gamestop i hated that that reason for oh i'm gonna spend 80 dollars on this because it looks sexy okay well mm-hmm. wait a minute <laughs> <laughs> and and then this is coming from people who claim to be gamers and I'm just like if you are a true gamer that look should not mean shit mm-hmm. compared to what we came from to now I get, I mean I, like we said this last cast how how much more different is it going to look that and say and that's and about only, and you know you can only get to a point where it's like okay I see the pores on this guy's face so the fuck what yeah <laughs> Can I can I can I do this in the story? No. Why the hell not? You did all that extra shit to make him look good, but I can't do this on a game. That's where I yeah. have a problem with. There, I actually know quite a few um, gamers who I've actually stopped gaming because it's got the graphics got into a point where it's too real, mm. and it was starting to mess with them. Mm. So never, never they literally stopped playing. So I completely get that. They, they do need to stop just being all about the graphics. They need to be about the all-around effect, custom, build. It needs to be an all-around everything. Gaming experience. Um, there was a, like, uh, like Ratchet & Clank. I'm not a fan of that video game. Mm-hmm. But I do like how it looks like a freaking Pixar cartoon. Like yeah. I do, I do very much so enjoy that. I think um, every game does not have to look ultra realistic or anything like that. I think with the the power of the systems that we have now, why aren't we doing more animated games? Like Indivisible looks gorgeous. It is a beautifully hand drawn mm-hmm. animated game, and like this is the perfect time to come back to like those animated sprites now and make mm-hmm. that shit look just like a cartoon. Exactly. A look at all the people who are really big into animation right now, especially mm-hmm. because of Rick and Morty, right? Rick yep. and Morty completely propelled animation. Bring back the animation games. Let that completely propel again. But this but the but on the on the game on the game company standpoint, that is a lot of hours and there's it is. a lot yes. of minutes. and that's that would that would cause for them to pay more. For for that kind for that kind of thing because you can you can pay you know one person to do badass three D render rendering you know what I mean but as far as animations that takes a lot more people and then you got to pay those more those people for their experience and all that so I do think on that end the companies are just being cheap's mm-hmm. they're trying that, to that's all that's what companies are they're always penny pinchers but then they're gonna wind up charging an arm and a leg. No. Yeah. Um, so, but if you spend the time to make a good game, the ducats will come. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and, and that's agreed. been proven. That, has been, that, is proven. A, that is a major fact that has been proven. But I don't, again, that is, I don't know, people will put buckets of money in the fucking stock market and risk that kind of money, but they won't risk which what you just said, spending three years on a game yeah. and making sure, okay, the gameplay, check. The look, check. Does it excite our audience? Check. All right, let's put this out. And then what happens? You get a good result from that because people can't hate on it. Like, what, what can you say? They actually think, took their time on a game? Wow. How dare they? I have yet <laughs> to find one person online that, has, that can say something negative about the Uncharted series or about Witcher 3, um, about God of War, like, um, or oh, Heavenly yeah, War. I don't like God of War. Or Horizon. Don't, don't like God, God of War. War? No. Why don't like God of War? I like, the, I like, the, uh, I like the, the old God of Wars. Yes, I like the old God of Wars. I don't like the latest one on PS4. 
Oh yeah. my goodness, that one is so yeah. good. I yeah. could not stand it. I I played it for about a month or two, and then I stopped. Ah, oh, the game. Now see, now that game, that game speaks to me. I absolutely love it because Kratos being such the volatile, angry person that he is, and watching his character have to hold that back and um, not put that on his child and have to go on this journey with his kid, that was so so good to me. It was like oh, such yeah. a well, like, you're, you're also a, dad. a father. He's a dad. <laughs> He's a dad. Exactly. You're a father, so that that's gonna stick. It touched to you your more. heart. You can't touch ours. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, also, we, it, we don't we don't have something between our legs to be able to you know or have that it. aspect. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm sorry, PG thirteen, Midori. I just, I just died. I just died on a get bad nerdy. But well, see, my brother, outside, outside, outside of the outside my of the poverty says, aspect, I thought that well, uh, plenty of up? games get the love needed to be great, but didn't get the sales to back it, or the current market hides it. Facts. Well, there, there's all there. There's always an exception to the rule. There's always an exception to the rule, Brian. Um, but outside of the fatherly aspect, I absolutely did love the gameplay. I wasn't feeling the axe. It took a second to get used to, but then um, you got different weapons or whatnot, and you got your old chain blades back. And I was like, wow, what a way to incorporate into it. But um, yeah, I, I'm all for the original God of War. I was love it the, that. Was it the camera angle? <laughs> <laughs> That's such a generation, a new generation thing. Was it the angle of the selfie? <laughs> because I know they forced the camera behind him to a third person view, up or back or whatnot, and you know you're right behind him, and then the other one, it was a set camera, depending on whatever. It, it was a set camera, and what's crazy is I hate the set camera angles when you're. On the side, I can't stand it mm -hmm. whatsoever. But the original God of War was just—it was ahead of its time, mm -hmm. and that really like spoke to me, and it captured my soul. Okay. But then, after the original, it, it started to go a little. It like it went up like this, and mm -hmm. then by PS4. Plummeted for me. Ah, plummeted? It did. It did. Hey, I respect it to each to each person's own. And I guess when I bring up, uh, <laughs> and I guess when I bring up gaming companies like that, I, I I'm, I'm also talking about the production value of it. Example, um, I example The Witcher. When I got Witcher three, it came with a full color eighteen by twenty four uh, inch map. Of the world, it came yeah. with a full on like you know games don't come with instruction books anymore. This came no. with an instruction book. It came with the soundtrack to the game. It came with uh there was at least eighteen free DLC downloads for the game. That like, sounds like uh what 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 was it Detroit? Yeah. Detroit. yeah. Oh my god, I love that <laughs> game. Game is great. Oh. That game, I need them to come back with. I don't know what they need to do. I need them to add some stuff to it, make an alter <laughs> ending. I don't. I don't know. I, I need. I need some more Detroit in my life. Oh, and Detroit, yes. and Detroit was dope, and that was like one of those games that I consider to be a, a current gen, you know, next gen type of game. Whatnot with the how far those branching decisions went. Yes. Oh and stuff my and like, god. Yes. You just down the rabbit hole with that or whatnot, but uh, I, sign me up for some Android loving. <laughs> 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 Not the I am with you. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting there playing that game wait, like I wait, am. Does the, does the Android loving make your knees quiver? Quiver. That, there we go. That is how we need to we need to start using that term on how good a game is. Does it make I, I your knees it. quiver? Make your knees okay. quiver, baby. So uh, the PS5 sexy shape has made Jen quiver. Yep. Android loving in Detroit <laughs> makes Midori's <laughs> knees quiver. Uh, All right, Mike, what's yours? Uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to, I'm going to have to say Spider-Man 4. Oh, my God. Because 
web slinging in that game for the first time through that city the way like it was fantastic. It, it was very away. hard to um, control it at first. You really had to like hone in the swinging aspect. And I, I think that's the skillsmanship of it that yes. I think is really good about it. That it's not just a simple push and, um, push the button and, and it automatically goes. But once you get the hang of it and you go, you really feel like freaking Spider-Man. And I would just literally turn the game on nah. just the web sling. Just if the I web do all that work, bitch better be, I better be web slinging with him. That's how, that's how I feel. God but damn. you are, but boy, once you get up high no, in the sky, you all- I gotta, hold on, let me configure, no, <laughs> not me, Batman, I'll stick to Batman right. with a gun and a grappling hook, so easy, I'll take it. Well, I, I will go outside of my protest to go over somebody's house to play Spider-Man 5, and that's, that, that's only hey, except, that a sacrifice, that's, that's the only I except you. And when uh, and and in that game, he better have the Miles Morales move from Into the Spider Verse, where he slides his hand across the ground as he swings. It better be in the game. If it's not, what you gonna do? I'm I'm a, I'm a bitch. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he'll bitch, but he'll still come over to play it. Yeah. Hey, NBA 2K, all of them here for me on Twitter. I tag them all. As a matter of fact, enough, I don't hilarious. understand Twitter. I I don't. Know. I, I don't I, understand I guess, how to use it. It's it's a complicated beast. It's a complicated I relationship, I will say. Yeah, I, I know Facebook. <laughs> I know Facebook. I know Facebook too. I know MySpace. Uh, Jay says, uh, my only thing you said MySpace. <laughs> I still have my MySpace page. <laughs> it it's official. <laughs> Everybody, Jen wow. still has her MySpace page. Hi, get at her. Try, <laughs> try and find me. Let it go. Jay says, my only, thing, my only thing I want is backwards compatibility uh, and enough memory, then I'm good. Miles Rounds looks amazing, but that release won't be for a whole year, no doubt. First release games will suck. Well, chances are the Miles Rounds game is going to be an initial release game because it's, it a, it's a remaster. It, it is. The, the Spider-Man and what was it? Um, God of War? No, they didn't say anything about God of War. Wait, what no. was the other one? Oh, there's another one that it's releasing when the system does. You can actually get, they're looking at doing a bundle with it. Oh, oh a bundle. What, $900? I was about oh, to say. more than likely. I mean, oh, again, I can't even think of it now. I'm just going to need y'all's that want this back compatibility she's news i'm gonna need you guys to godfall. Game stop. you're talking about godfall Jim. yes there we go godfall. i'm gonna need you to uh go get, get on amazon prime or whatever you need to do <laughs> and get the systems for like 20 25 dollars and Look, get the games for a couple of dollars this? and who play the it? old the old games like that because again if you put this backwards compatibility in these systems it's going to be more of your money that you already don't have. Yeah, it's, yeah. Midori's absolutely right. That is going to cost more money to it, have. It is. It is. That's why. Like I said, with the, with, just with the TVs, like, of course it looks good on what they're displaying it on. It's not going to look like that on your TV. Let's exactly. just be honest. Exactly. Until you, unless you, you unload need- the required TV that they're looking for. Yes. And was that's going to be was, another grand and then, or so. And then you have to have the reco- required cables. Mm-hmm. Yep. All of that. Don't think, a, don't, think a, look. don't think a basic HDMI cord is going to work. <laughs> but like, you know if what? If you have people a basic are, HDMI cable that. at this time, we can't be friends. No, I, I, I have several of them. What I'm saying is the five dollar HDMI cord that you buy from Walmart is not going to work on your on the 4K okay, TV. I'm, I'm just saying, if you have a basic HDMI cord, we cannot be friends. <laughs> hey, I got four kids. I got a basic HDMI cord. I got, I got some. several. <laughs> Look, when Jen comes over to my house, she's going to go directly to the TVs. What she's the- going to check your cords. <laughs> like, you know what? I'm out. <laughs> and, which, if you have a PS4 Pro, you don't have a basic HDMI cord because PS4 Pro gave you the cord that they want you to use. But I don't it see it. That's the thing. I don't have a Pro. I still, I'm still rocking with the, my um, a regular old Where's PS4. Um, I... I, I 
I would like to get a pro because, of course, that's the best version of it. It's got the biggest oh, space. Yeah. But I got an external hard Just drive. Just trade on mine. it in. I I have an external hard drive on mine too. See, so here's the thing. I'm not about to sit here and download all that stuff that I got on my PlayStation again. No, oh, that's like two weeks. <laughs> I don't know if that was the most grandpa-ish thing you've ever said. Hey, grandpa it up. <laughs> hey, Mike, grandpa you, need it up. To, you need to treat your PS4 like you treat cons. Hey, how's that? How's that? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Galaxy Con Louisville. Where were we for the first hour and a half, two hours before the con even started? We are FedEx mm -hmm. Kinkos. Exactly. Taking your time to get everything together. Do that shit <sighs> for your PS4 and go and trade it in and get a PS4 Pro. You just went gamer mom on you. Look. That's crazy. That's crazy. If I come into an extra, you know, $2,000, I'll get a PS4 Pro. Damn. You don't need okay. $2,000 for a PS4 Pro. No, no, no. That's how much money I need to get to justify to even doing something like that. Because I have other things I need to get. Like, I need an iPad Pro. Yeah, because you have mine right now. Yes, I do. It's right over here. <laughs> yes, yes, he's had my iPad since October. Since GalaxyCon. Yep. Hold on. Hold. Jay. Mike. What's up? Yeah, since October. It was actually Columbus. Is it Columbus? Yeah, yeah, Columbus. Yep. Yeah, uh, so when we're at the convention table, uh -huh. I have Jim's iPad, I have my iPad. My cell phone and stuff because mm -hmm. you, you wait, hold up, Medora. You've been to my table, so you see how busy it gets. I, 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 I do. <laughs> but, um, so, I have, have, so it's we use it as a to for people to be able to see prints and we use it as a second cash register and also for email sign up and email sign ups. And you see, you, I'm gonna need you to, I'm, I'm gonna need you to invest in your life <laughs> and get yourself another iPad. Look, Jen and then give Jen back hers. Jen and understand. give Jen back hers. Or, or Jen, Jen, not, that I'm on Jen's side, not that I'm on Jen's side, or you could just get her a new one. You know, I'm just putting that out there. Jen, like, oh, I didn't even one. pay for that one. I got yeah, that one did. for free at work. Jen don't even like iPads. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right now, I'm on my MacBook. That's why oh. she's so comfortable letting oh. me use this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't use the iPad. I knock it. I'm not I get it for free at work. I Jay, want it. Jay says Resident Evil Village and uh, what's that? Eight? That comes you got out. A TV. No, that's what the that's what the system's requiring you to get for the ultra sexy look. Oh, that's not happening. Number one, I'm never playing that Resident Evil. I'm a bitch. Uh, number two, that game is in first person mode. Hell no. No, hell no. Number three, oh, they I black. love me Resident Evil. Yeah, you can love it you all over there by yourself. The two black people say, oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> the black people say, I want me some <laughs> Jen is all about it. Um, I, uh, I was like, I bring back work. Silent Hill. Yo. Hell no. Hell no? no. I actually, I only like the first one. I only like the first one. But so, yeah, I remember that. going to Family Video and renting Silent Hill every single week for a year. Just because you like... Yes, yeah, so and my parents would not buy me the game. Your parents were smart. They were smart. They, I they applaud smart. them. That but they let me rent up. it. <laughs> I spent more money renting the game than, I, than they would have buying it for me. That's your own choice. No! <laughs> <laughs> now that you just sounded like a whole parent. Well, no, that, Mike, that, that was, was my parents. Your body. My parents mm. paid for the rental instead of paying for the game. Okay, all right. Now that doesn't make any sense. You might as well just buy the damn game. You're gonna let it run it. <laughs> exactly. I still yeah. have my memory cards for mm -hmm. it too. Nope. Uh, uh, AKTV. Yeah, Go ahead, Mike. I drop don't. it. Ball uh, off. Ball no, off. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, Jay. AK. Jay, I'm just like you. I got a four, but I got a four uh, terabyte hard drive on the side of my PlayStation mm -hmm. right now. Yep. Oh, so do I. Ah oh, man. I'm not. No, I'm not doing that. No Silent Hill. No Resident Evil. When that trailer came out for the first Resident for Seven, I was like, Oh hell no! You talking about in a little little house back to the back to the scary mansion by yep. yourself, and, <laughs> yep. and and the things is just chasing you, or like that trailer for it, like the thing was behind you the whole damn time. <laughs> oh hell no! 
Hell no. And what's crazy is I can't watch scary movies. Cannot watch a single scary movie. Neither I can love I. Resident Evil and I love Silent Hill. Nah, I can't. I applaud you. I applaud you. I'm not doing it. Uh, yeah. The game I don't looks- envy you, but I applaud you. Like <laughs> 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 that game looks really scary. And like what? And like I, I couldn't tell what was going on because obviously I don't play them. But apparently Chris Redfield comes in there and kills old dude's wife and says, "I'm sorry." Hmm. Like at the end of the trailer, did you catch that, Jen? I want a new Dead Space game, yo. Uh, I think I did. Yeah, Chris comes into the dude's house while he's on the ground, and Chris says, "I'm sorry," and shoots his wife. And apparently, apparently, I guess his wife and him survived from the last game, from um, Seven or whatnot. Dude, I ain't got that to do. Mm-mm. It's just too much. What do you think about the uh, the game where it's a first-person shooter, but you're stuck in a time loop with a bunch of assassins? That one looked intriguing. Um, I'm not That's a big uh-huh. first-player shooter game. So, not a big one, but it did look intriguing. So this guy gets trapped, or he gets caught. Uh, he's on an island full of assassins or whatnot. And in order to get out, he has to kill eight of them. There's eight specific assassins to get kill. But every time he dies, he starts his day over. So they're torturing him um, by chasing him. And supposedly every time you die, you learn something new until you can figure out how to kill all of them and whatnot. I think that game, like I think that ah, it looks it looks fun. It looks cool. And it's one of these games where they're not very concerned about the graphics. And it's more of the style of how the game looks. Uh, but I don't like the style of how the game looks. I, I wish they. So I don't like. So that's it. I don't like the art direction of the game. Like all the stuff with the animation on it prior, like that was promoting it, looked really cool. And then you see the game, you're like, oh, that looks, that looks shitty. <laughs> <laughs> like why doesn't it look like the the thing that you were using to promote it, or whatnot? So I wish it would have looked like that. But uh, they, what uh, what else did they have on there? Dark Souls? I'm, Are you a Dark Souls nice. player? That that looked really nice. So that's I like, have not played it, but it looks amazing. But that's I'm exactly what you're talking good. about. But that's what Jen is talking about. They are actually remastering the first Dark Souls game. And I putting mean, that so on PS5. You could rage on a new system. That's okay. That's <laughs> I, I mean, I don't see the benefit of that. But all right, hey. Another oh, yeah. you're putting a, a hard game that literally <laughs> Cause people to go into GameStop saying, I broke my controller, I need a new one. All right. And you're putting it on a new system so you can collect more revenue for your controllers on that system. I, I see the scam. I see it. You see the scam. I understand. Right, I understand. What, how do you feel about Solar Ash? Did you see that demo? Refresh that, me on that one. Refresh me with that it, one. It mm-hmm. literally looks like Mulan. Yeah. Solar Ash. It, I like the, the yeah, it's like the, old school, like Chinese uh, graphics. I think, I think you would like it, Mike. The way the, the old school, like, factor, like she's saying, like, it's nothing like graphically, like, oh, oh, yeah, just, it's like, nothing like, over the top. Oh, it's okay. very old school, like, uh, is it? It's I, I, I remember this one. I do like how it looks, and I, but I think it's a precursor to like something better, like. This is exactly what I, I like to see where we're talking about, like, stop making the game look so graphically real, stylize it more, animate yeah. it more. I think this is right along the lines of it, but I think mm-hmm. this is one of those foundation games where they figure out a bunch of stuff with this game, and then the next person that does it, the next company that does it, really knocks it out the park. Mm-hmm. But I do like how it looks, yeah. Yeah, I, I am obsessed with that. I cannot I, wait to actually see that. I wish I could remember the game. But it was a PlayStation. Um, it was like a PlayStation Online game where the it looked like this, and it had like a little cloak, and it would slide across the lands and stuff. And it won like Game of the Year for PlayStation, and people were tripping on it because it's like it's just a PlayStation Online game. How could that win Game of the Year? Um, but it did. But it reminds I mean, me like I remember what it, I, what is that damn game called? I remember seeing it in Game Informer. Yeah, and I remember seeing all the hate on it because, like, like you said, it literally. Looks like this, where it's it's artistically appealing, yes. and people were just like, "What? This is stupid! Yeah, look at the look of it!" So now I'm actually very interested to see uh, 
what company makes this game because like I think that's the same thing. So like that game came out and they were like, all right, so we just figured out all this stuff and now this game is the result of that, like an inspiration piece or, or looking at what they did. So they took it to the next level. So yeah, Solar Ash does look pretty cool. Um, I think it's epic. Yeah, I think it was epic. Yeah, it's epic. Yeah. Which All right. would be a ton of events for Epic, I will say. I keep I keep bringing it up, but Jen, have you played Horizon? I have not, but after seeing that demo, I can't. I want to play it so bad. Um, I uh, absolutely. I was let down with Horizon. Okay, do you know where the leg is? I don't know. I think- if I you, wish they would have went a different route too. with the character. You think what? You wish what? I wish they would have went a different direction with the main character. How so? I don't know. I'm not saying I'm not saying. <laughs> but I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but where is this? I just I uh, I guess it's cuz I'm I I wish they would just have more diversity in main characters. So that's a very good point because this game, Horizon Zero Dawn, is super diverse in its whole entire cast. But then you see all this and you're like, whoa. It should not be main character, <laughs> main character diverse as well. But yeah, yeah I, I get what you're saying. That, that, that's where it lost me because, I mean, it's kind of like making – a Pocahontas game, but not having a native be the main character. I, yeah, I see that. I you get know it. what I mean? Like that's 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 one of those things where, like, yes, it looks amazing. I've 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 seen plenty of gameplay for it. Unfortunately, I've been over here, so no gameplay for me. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't you know, know. I think you can still do some gameplay over there. Yeah, that's just gonna be more to take home in four months. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've so been there, done that. <laughs> I've been there, done that. Yo, <laughs> I was there for three if years. I was on the, if I was on a military base, it would have been completely different. Completely yeah, that different. is very true. But since I'm not with the military affiliated anymore, yeah. Yep, because then you don't. You have to buy adapters. And yep, this and that. Oh, yeah, I get that. So that's the only reason why it's like I, I came out and and built the computer at least here so I can have something to entertain me but like I just, I just that's one of those games that were like I was excited for mm-hmm. for Sony and then it was like that just was like mm, damn you people you, you you had you had one job god dang you know like <laughs> and I get like I just feel like there's you can't really there's not really much diversity in any of the games mm-hmm so when you have that opportunity, like, and that's one thing I, I hold Assassin's Creed with. They stay true to <laughs> to the native narrative. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, if it's supposed to be an Irish main character, oh, that goddamn Irish person don't have red hair and that Irish accent. Like, they stay true to whatever time period that they're, they're establishing in their game. And the same goes with any of these games. Like... I, I just I wish that I wish Horizon, Horizon was a letdown for me for that main reason because I'm just like, damn it. Well, I can absolutely see what you're saying because that is definitely something I thought of the more and more I played the game and got into it. I've, I felt that was the one place that they they dropped the ball on. I mean, outside of that, I did very much so enjoy the game. Um, yeah. I'm looking forward to the sequel. Uh, this game Horizon always reminded me of uh, Zelda for Switch. Um, mm. although Zelda is huge like it's like three times the size the horizon is or whatnot and um, with the sequel to horizon coming out that's what that's the scale that the trailers hinting at that we are going to be in vast new worlds you know massive land sizes and things like that that you're going to get to explore and travel through um, very much so looking polished. forward to it. Huh? Especially you know, I, I just hope it's polished mm-hmm. because you know with with that with more space comes more you know, bugs more, yeah. letdowns, because I, I mean that's one thing Nintendo they have in the pocket. Like you know, oh, yeah. Yeah. they don't yeah. care if it takes them two, three, four years to make a game. They gonna make they, that game look good. Yeah, they gonna make it 
to a point where you ain't you can't say there's bugs on their end. Like <laughs> I, I've never had an issue with a Mario or Zelda. No. Mario Kart there, game. I can't I can never think of a time where they're yeah. like, let us release this update because something was wrong. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, like you pick up a very good point. I have not I have yet to pick up my Switch and it say, Well, I need to update Zelda for you because yep. there were all these bugs. No. Nope. <laughs> the only game that I can think of right now that updates is Smash for Switch because you know the new characters and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But other than that, Nintendo yeah, I don't, don't have, have a Switch. Updates. Yeah. Have so, one. They're fun. They 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 are very fun. They are. Um but in closing, because we got we're gonna wrap up here. Um so, what what are your final say on, on PlayStation Five? Your final words, Jen. Knee quivering. Knee quivering. She's sticking with it. She's sticking oh, with it. I am. <laughs> I I had I have other words, but seeing you said PG thirteen, he said PG thirteen. <laughs> well, shoot. I can't say those words. All right, so let's go ahead and say uh, we're we're level for thirteen reasons on Netflix. That's the level we're at. Oh, then we're not PG thirteen. No, I'm not even a fan of that show, and I know the, the craziness on that one. I I am wet downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> Midori, your your final name. I just killed everyone. Hey, at least you weren't taking a sip of your drink this time. You're right. I I made sure not to pick it up. Once he said final words, I mm, I'll just wait. I'll just wait. I'm thirsty, but I'll wait. (laughs) Yo, my final words is don't don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype. Put it. Again, I'm not one to educate people on spending their monies, but hold on to you, to your coins. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, and I, I would agree with that because there there is there is this one thing that I didn't want to say that we did not get to talk about because uh, I got into a little back and forth on Facebook about it, I, and I was asking everyone like, "Are you guys doing the numbers here? We're talking about the PlayStation Five. We're, mm-hmm. With everything that they're saying in the system, we're talking about." Six, seven hundred dollars potentially for the system, and yeah. you may be looking at eighty to a hundred dollars for the games. And this dude came on and was like, "Those video ga- the game prices are not going to change. They've been sixty dollars for three generations. They're not changing." I was like, "But they changed from the first generation because it was fifty dollars, and yeah. then it went up to fifty dollars. Games would be fifteen dollars. Like, come on now. Uh-huh. Yeah. And we're I'm currently- sorry, I, I don't buy a game that's under a hundred dollars right now because I wind up buying the Ultimate Collector's Edition or gold edition or and that's what i'm that's what i was trying to explain to him like you realize for some games we're paying a hundred dollars for these games already yep. and they're using the dlc as an excuse to get us to spend the money he's like well you don't have to buy that all right that's that's besides the point what i'm trying to get across to you is is that they're a business and they're using marketing and they're trying to get us used to those dollar amounts so for you to think that they will not change the game the dollar amount of the game at all is ridiculous there's always a chance they can change it because it's their product they can change that price if they want to i I will say he is probably one of the nine out of the ten people who is grinching and saving and puck and and (laughs) trying to get his cash right to try and 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 splurge on this on this craziness Oh, yes. And you can't talk sense into those people. You can't. You At can. the end of the day, what's cool is what's cool. What's hot is what's hot. They want it for the clout value of having, I have a PS5. Mm-hmm. It's not that, oh, I need a PS5. Because honestly, we, you don't. We don't. Yeah. We no. don't need like, it. As much as I love the design and the looks of the PS5 and like a lot of the games that they showed, it all comes down to the dollar amount on whether or not I'm going to get it or not this year. Mm-hmm. If it is, you know, the seven hundred dollar price point, uh, buy. <laughs> Girl, you uh, with, with everything PC, that is going saying, on, you might, as well, you might as well take that and put it on a PC. Bow exactly. Bow it, with everything that's going on this year with the pandemic. Do you really think people are going to be able to spend that kind of money? Yes. A lot yes. of people have been without jobs for a while. Mm-hmm. Nope. P- 
people took that stimulus check and was already out at the door buying stupid shit. So if they doing that with free money, I can only imagine what they're doing with their own money. No, no, I, I use mm-hmm. my stimulus check to buy me another robot vacuum. Another robot you know vacuum. What? That's essential, okay? Because I'm lazy. <laughs> Thank I'm with you. that. I'm with Everyone that. keeps telling me. I'm crazy for doing that. I'm like, no, I need another one. I need one on my main floor. I need one in the basement. I need you know, to get one more for the top floor. Yo, I'm with it. I'm lazy. I'm with that one. Jay, <laughs> said, awesome dude, Jay, Jay says dudes' wallets will be on fire in their back pockets. Yes, they will. He also will. Said that it's a drug. Yeah. It, yep. it, it, but you know what? It's a drug that people, like, I can't even say it's an addiction. Like, you, mm-hmm. it, it's not an addiction. It's it's either you got sense or you don't. <laughs> yeah. And most well, of them, it's okay if you don't. I mean, again, I was that yeah, associate yeah. that will try and talk some sense into people before, because I'm not in it for the commit. Like, we didn't get commission at GameStop, even though we no, should. No, you do not. No, you don't. We don't get commission. So I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm not going to make you pay for something that you honestly don't need. Mm-hmm. Yes. Give you something we need to more like, people like that. Yeah. So my, my main people. thing is. My main thing with it is like I just I, I, I guess I want to rally the troops. Like if if we stop buying the stuff, they're gonna stop coming out with this stuff. And and, and that's what that's where I that that was literally my standing point of why I would say the say the stuff that I did. I'm surprised I didn't get fired from GameStop in my first year working at GameStop. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was with that company for like seven, eight years. So the fact that they didn't fire me means they I, I was just doing a damn good job and not being known. But I literally was on that standpoint where it's like, you guys, we hold the power. We hold the, once you start messing with people's money, that's when things will start to change. Exactly. Stop buying the stupid stuff. Like, yeah, DLC is optional for you, but there were some games where it was like, if you don't get the, uh, like destiny, Mm -hmm. destiny was one of them. If you didn't get the DLC, you was just going to be stuck and left behind. Yeah, where everybody else was moving on, so it puts you in a standpoint where it's like, I really like this game. I gotta, I guess I gotta drop for a DLC. Mm-hmm. But you, we, but our community, our society's been trained on this already, and and Apple's a big precursor of it because they drop a new iPhone every eight months, and yes, everyone goes out to buy it. Everyone trades in their iPhone, and. Th- the iPhone is up to nine hundred to a thousand dollars right now. So you're so Xbox, Android, Android from you too. Then you look at Xbox and, and PlayStation and Sony right now, and they're thinking like, "Well, shit, we can do that too." They're spending nine hundred dollars on a cell phone. You you telling me they're not going to spend six seven hundred dollars on a, on a Blu-ray HD four K player that plays video games as well? Yo, people using their phones for Wi-Fi right now. <laughs> like that is, <laughs> I, I want that to be a, a factor right now, y'all. Just wrap your minds around that. People don't even have enough money to pay for internet. Yeah. But they, but people are wanting to line up for this PS5. That's why I'm just like, yo, don't believe the hype. I, I, I'm hype. not hating on the PS5. It looks good, sure, but it's not needed. It's yeah. only going to cause more problems. And it's, I think, if anything, this should start making people lose faith in the gaming industry as a whole. Because it's like, mm-hmm. y'all don't care about us consumers. Y'all don't care about the product you're putting out for real. You only care about the money. Yeah. Um, until I can see something, like, even even at that point, like, I'm perfectly fine with the PS4. I, I got The Last of Us 2 coming out. We got, even though I'm not happy with it, but graphically... And the, the game mechanics are cool. Final Fantasy VII Remake. I got my yep. Spider-Man 4. I got Mortal Kombat. Until I can see, like, an ultimate, clear and present difference in what you are showcasing on a new generation system, I don't need it. I can still play my PlayStation 4 for another four years. Yeah. And be perfect. I, I do like it. the aspect, because they're coming out with two different models. One for people who do like to buy the discs, the actual mm-hmm. game itself. And the other one is just digital. Now well, Xbox did that. Did I, I, I do like that, that aspect. Yeah, X, Xbox did that, which is why they were like, you know what? Maybe we should do the same. Yeah. Because a lot of people were bitching about that. I it, mean, even nice. people with some PC people, PC P, PC people were pissed piss about that because a lot of people just like having that physical disc, especially with all the technology problems that you can have. I've seen people who've lost a lot of their their stuff mm-hmm. digitally buying. Oh so, yeah. 
I, I remember the one time I lost World of Warcraft. Ooh. Oh. Yep, see, no. I had the disc. I was I was in a good place. Yeah, I like If I didn't have, have those discs, I would have been screwed. I like to have the disc, too. Um, I saw that they were doing a digital version of it. I'm like, okay, so now um, I can't trade in games once I get tired nope. of them if I don't yep. like them. I can't yep. buy pre-owned games, and then I'm forced to have to use your online store and wait for potential sales and things like that. Yes. And chances are, with the new generation system, you're definitely not doing that. I mean, mm-hmm. and that, that's the other thing. PlayStation 4, like, they have this huge online store, and they are always doing sales. Always. Always. Like, if I had, like, there's just some games I can't wait to buy. Like, I have to buy them when mm-hmm. they come out, i.e. Yeah. Spider-Man. I had to buy that. That was just right. me. That was my personal preference. But if I'd have waited a year, I could have got the Ultimate Edition of Spider-Man 4 for $25. Yeah. Yes. Yep. I'm so, the same way when it comes to Assassin's Creed. Mm-hmm. Like yep. I pre-ordered the digital, the deluxe digital steel book for what? It was like close to $150. Mm-hmm. Mm. But if I wait a year, I can get it on the store for like 50 bucks. But right. you know what? I'm that, I'm that hardcore of a fan of Assassin's Creed. I'm going to play it day one. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? I think, I think that it's going to, with it, everything going digital, it will put a. It will put GameStop out of business. Yes, it was. Oh uh, yeah, I think it was. And too. I and and I'm not. I'm okay with that. <laughs> but because <laughs> yeah, I mean that's because no one understood that that's that's literally how GameStop makes their money is off of those pre-owned games. That's why the pre-owned game would go on sale, but not the new copy because the new copy sales go to the company, not GameStop. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, I remember one time I. I purchased um, South Park, <laughs> the pre-owned version of it, and then the next it was like a couple of days later, the um, the new version went on sale for cheaper than what the pre-owned was. So mm-hmm. I came back. I was like, traded it back in. I was like, mm-hmm. I want to get the new copy, mm-hmm. just so I can have the code. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I wound up, they wound up giving me money back because it was cheaper. Yeah. Damn. But that's what I'm saying. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. Again, no bleed hype. That's all I got. That's, all, yeah, that's I got. all you got. That's, that's, that's what we come back to. At the end of the day, we just keep coming. Yeah. Don't bleed hype. If, if, if so PS5 really is over $500, I will, I'm not getting it this year. Mm-hmm. As much as I love I it, I will not get it for over five hundred dollars this year. I'm, I'm after surprised they're trying to release it this year. Why are y'all trying to do? What, really? That yes. that really shows show people they don't give a fuck about y'all. <laughs> 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 You're releasing a, a damn seven hundred some dollar system during a year. Not even it's it's a a year pandemic that has caused yep. people not to work, not to be able to go outside. Exactly, to- and we're we're supposed to have. We're supposed to have a phase two of it come November. Yeah. And I, I'm right telling when you, this releases. It's shit, guys, because phase two has been hit Korea and it sucks ass. All right. <laughs> but guess what? They still ain't locked us down. I have not seen a day of a quarantine, a day of uh, not working. I've been working this whole damn time <laughs> of this of this pandemic. Jay so. said soon everything will be digital download because GameStop looks like they are running on fumes close to total bankruptcy. And Brian says GameStop isn't a bad place to shop. People just uh, people just want more money. Now that's yeah. because he's still with GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, that's my, that's I, my I, love, he's okay. I love my no, GameStop. Game, GameStop, my GameStop, at 250 GameStop used to be here. good. Like, it them. used to be good because it had the dynamics of you know uh, Game Freak and Funko Land. Those those aspects of it's for you, the gamers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But now GameStop's business is all about what's gonna bring us money. Yes. Don't care about the average gamer. We don't care like and having to explain to people why you're trading something in for four dollars is a headache because they don't understand. You know the whole once you drive the car off a lot, it loses its value. Right. <laughs> With the game, that, that, once that's they, a great, once that's they a have production of a sequel, the one before it does not matter in Team Wars. Exactly. Yeah, 
the I way remember it's bringing up, you know, in games and they're like, oh, we can only give you a dollar for it. All right, just throw it away. Yeah, we can't even do that. They could, we couldn't even do that. <laughs> yep. So I'm like, all right, I'll just give it to me. I'm just going to throw it away. Bruh. That's just called capitalism. In a nutshell, it's still a company. Granted, the board of directors are out of touch. Yeah, like like I said, I love my GameStop, uh, the one I go to. Uh, you know, really good staff, really good people. I get to do GameStop release parties there uh, for their video game parties and stuff. They hiring so, in November. Yeah, okay, <laughs> I, I got you. I got you. I got you. Still looking out. I got you. I, I know my my GameStop up in Dublin was awesome. I I went to the one on Tuttle. But now that I'm down here in Bexley, I go to the one, what is it, Collingwood one mm -hmm. on Maine. Oh, they, okay, yeah. They seem pretty good. Um, they are mainly PS4 over Xbox there, which I love. Because the one in Tuttle was mainly Xbox over PS4. It's so fun. It's so fun. I'm in but the middle. But you know, just... Get yourself a PC and just be happy, guys. <laughs> hey, I have a PC. I built my own PC. I spent a lot of money on it. I have top do of the end. Systems. Just I, I have a PC. Me. I got PS4. Don't expect me to get an Xbox. That's <laughs> that shit. Right. If I get one, I'm going to bring it outside, pour gasoline on it, and set it on fire. That's terrible. I have an Xbox, and if I did not have an Xbox, I would have never gotten to enjoy Borderlands. I would have never gotten to enjoy I Mass Effect. I can't Borderlands. Oh, my God. I hate that game. I don't like Borderlands 3, but Borderlands 1 and 2, that was no my one, crack. No one liked 3. No one did? No one did. I, I, I can't tell. I, I, can't, I, got I, I can't remember anyone telling me they actually liked it. I got Borderlands 3 when they did it for free for one of the months for PSN. Oh, okay. okay. And oh, I tried it. Oh my god, absolutely hated it. And just the graphics alone on how they were made me feel very nauseous and I got very sick playing it. Mm. Well, I, I, I'm a And gamer. for some I reason, like I could, when I was playing it, I would smell like this, like, must, musky, like, odor while I was playing it. Like, I was actually there. And that's what also made me kind of sick. Jen, that, that's, not, that's not good. That's, that's not good at all. It was only when I play that game. I smell that. That's not good at all. And I think on um, that right there. He literally just described a Smash and Scriff game. <laughs> I know. And I literally think on that note right there, we have come to a close. <laughs> I have made Midori spit out oh her drink God. and choke on her drink multiple yes. times tonight. I have done my job. And I, I think her knees have quivered a couple times. I, they but, did, but <laughs> damn, like, snatch and screw up. Now, now I gotta, like, go back and play some games. I, uh, I need some, I need some of that add, drug. That's gonna be a feature that's gonna be added in the future games or whatnot. And they, they heard it here first on the good, the bad, and the nerdy. Well, I wanna thank We're gonna make that. In. I want to thank all of you for tuning in, uh, sharing, and joining in our conversation and stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink. See? Uh, don't uh, drink Greg. around Jen, apparently. Hey, oh, we'll, no. Mike we knows that. We will warn you from now on. Like, we'll mm -hmm. say, Jen's coming on this episode. No beverages. No beverages. I right, got it. You're watching on your computer. Oh, yes. <laughs> just, just wait till we do the episode of uh, virtual Comic Cons. We're going to do that, Mike. I attended one. It was nice. Oh. Jen's not a fan. Okay. I'm not a fan either because I'm a cosplayer and I love the convention life. But. All right. Yeah. So, Mike, when we do virtual Comic Cons, all three of us. Just like. I'll be in my cosplay. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Yeah, do you want, do you want me to get in my Oogie Boogie cosplay? Because it's actually yeah. both oh sitting in my chair. Can you sit in that? Yeah, I was sitting in it. Yeah, you are. Columbus. You are. Okay. And see, I, I'll show you. There's a little bit of nightmare. All right, all right. Uh, 
Well, we're going to close up. Uh, give us a follow on Twitter, T-T-H-E, nerdy on Twitter.com. Uh, Midori underscore Hannah to follow her on Twitter. Look for her on Twitch as well because she's awesome Twitch player. She plays all types of video games and does all types of cool art on the Twitch. Uh, we are also on Facebook. Find, follow us on Facebook as Good Bad Nerd and join in our conversations, join in our discussions. You can also suggest things for us to talk about. Uh, Freestyle Comics, as Jen is uh, showing on her hat, is a good place to follow as well if you're looking for some cool comic books and all that jazz. You can get it at shortfusemediagroup.com. If you buy the books, I recommend buying the physical copies of the books because you get the digital copies for free. And, and you get the then, smell. You get the exactly. smell. <laughs> I mean, oh, he's, no, he's, no, he's no. also it's currently making smell. a scratch and sniff comic book. Oh my god! I have to now. I mean, <laughs> it, it's needed. I see it's what needed. I have done to you now, Mike. I see. I've opened up a whole oh. new revenue for you. Whole new. Look, she can't even control herself. <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I want to thank Jen and I want to thank Madori for joining us all the way from Korea. Uh, we will catch you next time. Our next show. Annyeonghaseyo. Oh, look at that. Our next show will be next Friday at 6 p.m. And then I am always going to be looking to Midori to find out what our next video game topic will be. Thank you and bye-bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>